We now return to Bolt Gun. No, no fear. Your crusade draws to a close. The final battle is at hand. Heretics and demons pollute the command decks. Eliminate the sorcerer. Reclaim the fragment and put an end to this heresy. Okay, here we go. Looks like a final prep room. How I unlock these, I'm not really sure. These must have been... Maybe... Oh. Very likely here. Observation decks reached. Secure site. Purge sorcerer. Service near completion. Assistance offered. Status. Gratitude. Okay, I don't think I need anything else here. I think, I really, really doubt they'll let me come back in here. So this is just like, if you've reached this point, here's all the guns. Here we go. You ready for this? Where is this bastard? Okay, that... Very ineffective. So what is the secret there? Oh no, it's... Just went out in my ear. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe I want this. Maybe I don't. You little fucker. God damn. Nerglings are the worst. Absolute worst. Fucking get out of the goddamn canister! God! How the fuck do I get back up here? And how do I do any kind of damage? Is tied to this.
missed it. Fucking goddamn you cocksuckers! Fucking bastards get in my way. It's just going to keep respawning, isn't it? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <sighs> we get him? We get him? That's not fair. What the fuck? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I need more fucking ammo for this. It seems like everything replenishes here. I'm so fucked right now. That situation right there is what the fucking... I mean, how do you even get that guy? How do you even kill that thing? Ah, fuck that... There's not even enough ammo for this piece of shit.
I don't I don't even fu fucking know what to do here. This is insane. It's tied to the demons. It's tied to the fucking demons. Fuck just spawned in. How do I get the fuck up again? Alright, save in there. Who's stomping around behind me? fitting if I managed to kill this guy with the bolt gun, seeing as how that's the name of the game. Incoming message from the traitor. Powers of chaos are stronger than any one god. You will die yet. Oh, fuck me. Come on. Don't tell me this is like a phase one bullshit thing. Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on with this shit.
What the fucking Christ? Are you shitting me? Fucking horseshit here. strategy. Shield again. There are none. Those are toads, right? What is it now? Fuck me, what the hell? He's fucking dead. Where are the heal packs? It's almost there, it is almost there, it is almost there, it is almost there. Jesus Christ! Come on, come on, come on! Mother 
motherfucker. Managed to find all the secrets. How pleasant. Come on, come on, you fuck. He's still alive. That motherfucker's still alive. If I have to hit all the way before he respawns all this shit, I'm gonna be really fucking pissed. If that's why he keeps respawning, is because I don't hit him at 100%. Jesus. Excellent work. With the sorcerer defeated and the Mechanicus device destroyed, we bought Grya time. Now give me the fragment. It must be contained. Without this to power the device, the warp rift will begin to close itself. But this isn't over. The scars of chaos run deep. Who knows what foul entities linger here? And on Brian. There are still heretics to purge. Ready your weapon. There's no way that magazine holds more than like eight bolter rounds. Hello? Okay. Left a few hanging. There were ten secrets in that level. I don't see how that is possible. The credits. Your mission is complete. Thank you for playing Bolt Gun. That's it? Okay. Wow. Okay, well... <clears throat> I mean, it was a, it was a fun game. Uh, definitely play it on normal, though, for the challenge. Um, Challenge-wise, playing on low uh, is, is non-existent. I can definitely see the difference between AI reaction, um, obviously just the amount of enemies and, and their, uh, their, their, I guess, health and, and damage. Um, easy, easy mode is too easy and I kind of regret it, but I also wanted to get through this game and be done with it. Um, the, the level design was good. From what I remember of the first chapter, because that was a long time ago, uh, it was varied and interesting, and it felt like it kind of lost that, and I don't know if it was like in the second chapter, like the end of the second chapter, beginning of the third, but a lot of it just started feeling the same, and especially when we started seeing symmetrical uh, levels. It was kind of annoying. And I guess I guess maybe what was annoying to me was the backtracking stuff. So, you know, you'd loop through to one area and then come back to another area to unlock a door and then loop through. And, like, the first levels were very linear, so it, you were seeing a lot of different things. And the environments were varied, too. Uh, once we got on board the ship and all that stuff, and it's just all walls and corridors, I think that's where I really kind of got bored uh, with the design of that. Um, but for someone who doesn't like shooters, or at least doesn't play a lot of shooters, uh, it's pretty solid gameplay. I feel like there's too many weapons, if for no other reason than just because it is very awkward using the, the WASD keys to move to reach over to the 678 to switch to weapons. Like, the, the weapons in the middle, the 456, I hardly used at all. Um, well, definitely the 5 five and the 6, I hardly used at all. Um, I, I honestly didn't feel like there was a, a need to have all those weapons. Um... You know, obviously the shotguns, the shotgun needed more spread to help with the nerglings because it never seemed like that was the perfect enemy for a shotgun, and it did never work the way I felt it should have because they were they were a horde enemy, and therefore it's a crowd control gun should have been good for that. Uh, like the the melta gun seemed probably like it was only good for taking out the terminators.
I mean, maybe other things. It did shoot through walls, so maybe that would have been more useful. Or terrain, I guess, not just walls. Um, so maybe I should have used it for like the, the bloat gun thingies uh, and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like that part could have been tighter. And I know that, you know, you don't want to just clone Doom, which, uh, you know, these kinds of games, obvious inspiration for this one. But going back to, like, level design and stuff, one thing that also threw me off was, like, the secrets that were secrets. Obviously, there were secrets that were not so obvious. But the very first level sort of teaches you to look around. Because you'll, you'll end that tutorial mission, and then it'll be like, oh, there was one secret, and then you're, you play the level again, and, oh, it's the one wall that looks different. And then you open that up, and then in the next couple levels you see a wall that looks exactly like that one and then you go up there and actually this time it's not a door it's just the wall texture meanwhile all six of the the secrets are just sort of floating out there you know you can you can see it from the ground it, it's really weird and then you take the secret and nothing happens um you know th there's no reaction and the, and and all of that re reactive stuff seemed more, I guess, for for movement, movement based. Like you, you would get to a certain point in a corridor, and then you could hear everything spawn in. I mean, teleport in, but they're spawning in, which you know immediately allowed you to just sort of sit back and ping off some of the the enemies before you even got in the room. But. I don't know, that that part of it just felt like it could have been tightened up too. Um, and maybe a higher difficulty it is. Maybe they spawn right on top of you. But from what I remember of, of the old Doom games, like you'd get into an area, you'd hit a, a new secret or pick up a new weapon, and then immediately, you know, there's a room full of enemies to use it on, or they teleport in, or whatnot. It, it feels a little slow in this game, in a few places, where you're just wandering down a corridor, there's a couple enemies, shoot them, and then you keep wandering, and... I don't know, I, it's... To, to, to capture the feel of what it is for being a space marine, you know, it, I feel like it would have been more fun to just wade through hordes of enemies, and, uh, you know, just rather than, than constantly setting up. I mean, you're the stern guard. You're basically like the first one in and cause mayhem. Like, well, so, so like in the, in the Warhammer universe, space marines are shock troopers. Like they are supposed to be these big walking tanks that have a terrifying facade and just are, are supposed to demoralize anyone who sees them and so like you're supposed to go in and just smash the hell out of things and this game definitely did not reward that or at least it didn't punish being cautious again maybe the higher difficulty levels do but for me it was a, very much a sniping game I was able to clear a room before even wandering in there most of the time but, um, I don't know. I, I do think that they did a good job, at least, on trying to make the weapons match the enemies. You know, you could, yes, just use the bolt gun on everything. But there are definitely weapons that are meant for certain enemies. Like, you, you are just absolutely going to be <laughs> pissed off and frustrated if you try and use the, the chainsword against the Nurglings, for example. I wish that there was more of a, a stomping and smashing. Like, if you fall from a height onto something, you know, you're wear, wearing half a ton of armor, you should be able to just crush everything. I guess I guess it's Terminator armor that it weighs a lot. But, you know, a full-grown Marine in full plate armor, like, that's... You would crush everything. It, it just, it feels... I, I don't know. I, this is the same story, same little... You know, side as the Space Marine game. And in that one, there's a lot of just getting in the thick of your enemies. And uh, I, I felt like that was kind of 
missing from this. And I know, it's a shooter game, so you're not being melee, but there are first-person shooters. Well, like, what, Hexen, was it? Was an old one that did a lot of, of melee? I mean, there are games in this genre that do that. And for being versatile, like you are in this game, you know, I would have rather gotten rid of maybe... I don't know, the shotgun, maybe the Melta. I, I think that they could have combined the Volkite and the Graviton beam, because those kind of did the same thing. But anyway, get rid of one of those and then give me like a Thunder Hammer, like an AoE melee or something. You know, just, I don't know. It, it's, it's a good game, but um, I don't think I'll play it again. Well, that all finish the series. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next Let's Play.